I made this piece on the lathe and I'm going to put here, tack weld here and then put it in the deal press center punch at the edge and then drill it and then finish the slot with a file so let's see if it works Now I made the hole and I'm going to cut the weld and remove the piece. Now I just drill the hole and I'm going to tap it. So to compensate the, the bigger sprocket I need to add a bit more chain and when I put everything back together the chain is loose so I'm going to to weld a, a bolt here in this position and then thread this with a with a, a nut and then I will be able and cut here so then I can lower the motor and then I can adjust the tension with the screw and then tighten this bolt now everything is connected so I will connect that battery the 40 volt one and see if everything is correct and maybe have a go maybe test the motor and let's see So the fuel awakening it works because if I hold at a, a fixed position the throttle it spins and if I increase the PWM it, it goes slower and now I can I gave it a bit more throttle and if I decrease the PWM so this system now works this position is the the car battery that one which gives more than 12 volts and if I flip it to the right 
it runs from the DC to DC converter, which always is uh, 12 volts more or less, a bit more, but always is 12. Well, I would like to take it for a spin, but now it's late, and I think, and I need, and I still need to reprogram the controller. So I will give a shot right now with the rear end jacked up. So let's see how it runs. everything is connected now when I flick the switch Now the chain is tight with the tensioner. And now the e lock switch and the reverse switch are connected so If I hit the throttle, nothing happens. And now and this one is the reverse, so 